welcome to my channel thank you for coming today we're making grilled fish we are using whitening fish i like whiting actually whitening fish i'm gonna be using red bell pepper green bell pepper um scotch bonnet pepper use any kind of pepper you like basically that's just the point i'm trying to make here i have parsley and this is my secret ingredient suya spice have you ever done that before try it when you're grilling your fish you will love it it's amazing by the way you can get your suya spice either from african um, market or any arabian market i got mine from nigeria anyway so all the spices we're going to be blending that's what we're doing but first of all we're going to blend the scotch bonnet pepper and the red bell pepper also i'm washing the fish with lime you could use lemon or vinegar you know this is just to make sure that you catch all those gems or you know you don't know how many hands have touched this fish so you just want to keep them clean so after washing it with the lime juice i go ahead and wash it under the cold tap water and then i dry it off with a dry paper towel just to you know make it not to be too liquid when i'm putting all the uh, spices on it so that's just what i'm doing here and also i'm making an incision on both sides of the fish this incision will help me to penetrate into the fish when i'm adding all those spices because you want to really flavor up this fish this is an amazing fish this white in particular one it's good it's very low in uh, mercury you cannot be worried you know you have to eat with confidence so here i'm just blending up all the spices basically i'm blending up the peppers that's what i'm doing and after blending it i'm gonna drain out the water i'm not boiling if you want you could boil, boil it to drain the water out but i'm not i'm just showing you here a simple method you can use instead of um you know taking your time going to the over to the stove to boil i'm adding everything together you see i added everything i have here garlic ginger everything salt i'm gonna add it into that blend everything and then I start squeezing out um, the water from the pepper. That's what I'm doing here. All right, so you're going to need a mesh. Or if you want a cheesecloth, that's fine too. Anyone, you just use your spatula and press out all the liquid in it. You see, it's very simple. Press it out. Keep pressing until you get the consistency you really want. What you're going to work with so that, like I said, it will not be liquidy when you are applying it to the fish look at all the juice that came out of that you see that look at the size of the pepper now it has reduced drastically amazing right <laughs> so anyway i put it in my bowl and now it's time to add every other thing the onions the black pepper everything you want to add so your spice this is when you add, you add them and then you mix it properly you got to mix it. You need to make sure it combines. All right? You really need that flavor. And guys, that suya spice. Woo! Amazing. Mine came all the way from my aboki guy in Nigeria. Very nice. So anyway, I'm cutting out the foil here because I'm going to be grilling it in the foil. Since I'm not grilling on an outdoor oven or outdoor grill, I'm doing it in my oven. So... I'm using the foil to trap in all the spices, everything inside. You see, this is just what you're going to do. Go ahead and put um, the pepper and everything in the incision you made. And also coat the fish around. Coat it so much, guys. <laughs> you need all that flavor. If you don't like fish, if you coat your fish properly with the right I mean, right quantity, right amount, and right spices, you will definitely enjoy it. Right now, I'm a fan of fish. Before, I wasn't. But when I learned how to really spice up my fish, I fell in love, you know, with fish, especially this one that is kind of more safe than every other kind of fish. You could read about white and fish. It's safer. I mean, as in low in mercury. Okay? You eat with no guilt. You eat with no <laughs> conscience. All right? So anyway, I'm just placing the lemon on top of the fish. This is for more tangy taste. You could leave it. You could do it. And I'm also putting the parsley, the fresh parsley. If you have fresh thyme, you want to use thyme, that's fine. Okay, if not, leave it the way it is. And then just wrap up your foil. Make sure your oven is already preheated um, to 450 or 455 degrees because you're going to be grilling this 
on high for like a 25 to 30 minutes i should say or depending on your oven it could be 20 15 to 20 minutes but when it goes into the oven make sure you flip it over after the first side is done if you're doing 30 minutes that means you're gonna do one side 15 and then sweep, um, flip over for 15 minutes for the other side so that it could be well grilled all right you want it to be well grilled so that's what we're doing here just 25 minutes i think i did mine for like 25 minutes and this is it and it's out so let's open it and see ba -ba 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 -ba. look at that look at that look at that voila you see that amazing smoky hot spicy very sweet not too spicy spicy enough to tolerate okay and there you go it's very simple go ahead and make yours if you haven't tried white and fish go and try white and fish you can also use catfish for this if you're into catfish or if you don't have white and fish go ahead and you'll enjoy it make it anyhow enjoy with your family your friends okay thank you so much for joining me i watch i thank every one of you i really want to thank you please subscribe if you haven't subscribed like the video share the video leave me a comment and all those good stuff blah 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 <laughs> thank you so much for joining me it's bye from Ogoma. bye